AG is in Texas with another question. Hello, AG. Hello, how are you today? Fine, thank you. Hey, I would love to know, I've been fooling birds, I'm 70 years old, I've been fooling <laughs> birds all my life. Uh, how do you go about sexing a chicken? A baby chicken? Uh, about what? How to sex a baby, ah. how to determine whether it's a male or gotcha. female at uh, day of age. And I think there's, there's different techniques, but I'll leave it to the experts. I didn't want to appear ignorant there, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I understood the question. Yeah. AG, right. I, I can tell you that in the, in the commercial broiler market, um, those uh, in the industry, as, as a general rule of practice, they don't sex the birds. Uh, for one, it, it, it is costly, and every time you handle that uh, baby chick, you add, have to add cost to it. But uh, as, as, you know, to your question, how do you do it, um, feather, uh, feather growth is a sex-inherited gene. Uh, therefore, uh, you can actually tell, at, and it has to happen within the first few hours of hatch, uh, by looking at the primary wing feathers of a market broiler, um, the, the, at, the, at the end, I guess you would call it, of, of the fingertip of that bird's wing, right. they actually have uh, feather stubs. And those birds that exhibit uh, just a little bit of plumage that's opened up on the end of that feather quill, those would be your female birds. Uh, those that look like just white stubs, look like a white toothpick on the end, if you will, uh, those would be your male birds. Uh, that would be the, the primary way that, that birds are sexed uh, today if that is done. Uh, another way, technique before feather sexing uh, was created was vent sexing. And there's actually, you look for just a little speck and it takes a real keen eye to do that. And uh, that practice is no longer done uh, that I know of because uh, those folks that could do it are, are no longer around. Um, <laughs> a keen but, eye. No, very keen <laughs> eye. But, but with that uh, feather sexing, if, if sexing is done today in the industry, it's done by feather sexing these birds. No, you, don't, you don't look for the little blue tufts on the male chicks and the pink ones <laughs> on the females. That's, no, blue or, no blue or pink will separate these birds. Uh, but, but, but Kirk, in the standard brands, um, there is quite a bit of difference in some of those breeds, aren't there? You can tell. W there are, and uh, say with the single comb breeds, usually within a week's time or so, the males will develop a larger comb, slightly larger than what the females. Again, you do have to look uh, quite closely to see this. There are also some auto-sexing -sex breeds, such as the Bard Rock. Uh, mm -hmm. The Bard Rock is fairly easy to sex as a, uh, as a chick. Uh, the females tend to be darker with a darker leg. The males tend to have a, a nice bright yellow spot on top of their head with a, with a lighter colored leg. See, it's always the females that get the nice fluffy yeah. feathers and all the fun stuff. I know.